What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. For the haters of Lefty Gunplay, I apologize, but today we're talking about Lefty Gunplay again. We get all belligerent with this, right? Lefty Gunplay. Lefty been quiet lately, right? I think that's probably a great thing. Hopefully that means he's been in the lab, he's been focused, but, and I'm going to make sure I get this right this time. I apologize. I'm always getting it wrong. Most of the time, I think I get it right. Crazy Hood Media. Let me say that now. Crazy Hood Media. He's always putting out all the fire. He always, he has. It seems like he's plugged in, so make sure you go check him out. But a lot of people are saying right now that, that Lefty Gunplay put out a diss track that he's finally responding to bands and that he was driving around Santa Rosa and then he filmed a video and Crazy Hood Media did a video on it. He did a short on it and he said it's bullshit uh, as far as him driving around this and this and that. Now, as far as the diss track, I'm hoping it's not true. I am. Um, and, and I'll say why. And it's not just bands, but it's anybody that's hating on on a person. Right now we're talking about uh, Lefty Gunplay. But this can be applied to you, to any content creator, or whatever. When somebody disses you, um, normally they don't diss someone who they believe is beneath them. Remember that. They always diss who they see as competition or someone in a higher position. But it's never, usually never an equal or an inferior. So take it as a compliment when people diss you. People say your name. It's because, especially in this type of environment, right? In uh, social media and rap. Um. They're saying your name because they know there's clout attached to it. So knowing that, we're going to keep it to, and people are already freaking out. Oh, Lefty, he's, he, there he goes with Lefty again. I just said it can be applied to anybody. But we're talking about Lefty, and we're talking about bands on this one, only because, shout out to bands, shout out to Lefty, um, only because it keeps being mentioned in my lives, right? And I even I think in a few comments on videos, and my thing is this, if, put it like this, people that talk about me 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I won't even say their name. I don't even acknowledge it. Most of the time, I don't even hear about it other than the comment section and stuff, right? Lefty gunplay should be the same way. You know, it, it goes back to, I talked about this the other day when I was a kid, when I was like, when I was in Y especially, um, and Walt was, hey, who, hey, who are your enemigos, eh? Walt was from, like, from L.A. or wherever. Hey, who are your Walt's enemies anyways? And I used to say, we are the enemy, homie. We don't even have enemies. We are the enemy. And that's how your mindset should be in this hip-hop culture. Hip-hop is very competitive. When someone shoots at you that you know ain't on your level, wow, they, they, it was a... It was a it was, a, it was a, what do they call that shit? Not an air ball. A brick. It was a brick. It failed to hit unless you respond. So anybody in that top position or the perceived top position, position when somebody shoots at you, you know the best retaliation is success. You don't got to retaliate. You don't got to diss them back. You disrespect them by shitting on their money bag, by shining. No matter how much they shoot at you, no matter how much they try to tear you down, you just keep elevating. And it frustrates them. And then it makes it even worse when you don't even, you don't even pay attention to them. They swear you're running from them. It becomes kind of like a, a mental sickness for them, an obsession. 
in their want to get the big dog to acknowledge them, they destroy themselves, their happiness, their channel, their career. It's stupid. So I'm hoping it's all bullshit as far as there's not even a diss track. I see Lefty, he's he's um he's getting in, I saw on, on IG, he's getting into other he's getting in the lab with some new people. Great. Get that money. Get that spotlight. Keep that spotlight on you. Because it's it's a, a fleeting thing in rap, in music. Even in movies. You get a shelf life, most people. There's the exception to the rule, but in music, there really isn't. And one thing I don't want to see is it seems like people get more famous when they die. And I don't want to see any of these rappers die to become famous. Like, you ain't famous. What you left behind is, right? Um, luckily, it seems, and I may be wrong, but it seems like there's not a lot of dissing back and forth with the rappers right now. Hopefully that means people are, are utilizing whatever push they got from the initial uh, interaction. Hopefully the, whatever push they got from it, they're taking advantage of it and they're growing their platform, growing their views, their sales, whatever the hell you call it when you're selling music. I don't know what it is. But again, I don't, I don't see anywhere where... A response from Lefty is is gonna help Lefty. Um, the people don't that don't like him are gonna criticize the lyrics, the beat, everything about him. The people that love him don't need it. They just want any type of music, and that goes for any artist. I'm sure whatever it is, again, Crazy Hood Media will let us know in the next day or two, or every day. The guy puts out a lot of stuff, man. Um, I did see somebody sent me a story uh, of Lefty, and he's in a pad. And he's in the beginning, he's, he's listening to some music. And um, he's drinking. And he never, I, I've never talked to him, never met him. He doesn't need my advice, but I'll give him some advice. If you want to drink, homie, drink with people enjoying something. Don't get in the habit of drinking because it's there. Don't get in the habit of drinking by yourself. Because addiction is, it's at the end of the day, the most simplest definition is a habit that has become routine. That's what addiction is. It's a habit which becomes routine. It becomes part of your daily program. And I'm not saying that he's addicted or nothing. I don't want to put that on him, but I'm just saying, you know, me, I'm old man. So when I see when I see a video like that, the first thing I thought was, damn. Maybe there were people there, but I saw you drinking. You had your chaser, your drink, and I didn't see anybody there, man. And I was just like, damn, hopefully this isn't something that he does. But I also noticed, again, he had his pad. Great job, Holmes, on your pad. I know you got a car. Hopefully you are trying to do that thing with your, your, your baby's mom and have your baby in your life. Those things slow you down and, 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 and refocus you on what's important. I'm not going to make this a long video. I have a lot of stuff to do today. I already went live this morning on the Dub S World. If you missed it, go ahead and check out the live. Thank you, guys. It's, that channel's newly monetized. You guys blessed me this morning. I can't put ads on anything over there, but they have super chats. I haven't set up memberships yet. Maybe today I'll, I'll, I'll try to fit that in. But I do have a lot of things going on. Uh, I put out a video on the, on the Dub's channel. I feel it was a great video. Um, it's not really getting any traction. Hopefully, you guys will go and check that out. And then here we have this one. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be recording again and on at least one channel, if not this channel and the big channel. Um, so stay tuned, man. 
With that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, right? I'm out of here.